Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Dr. Dees. We are back with another video. So today we are talking about my guy Kai. Kai is in the 15 time event this weekend. And let me just say, a lot of people are probably pulling Kai and they're like, oh my God, I was going for Vierna. I did not want Kai. Kai is such a trash hero. And you know, that's partially true because he's not really usable in a lot of phases of the game. But for Gear Raid 3, he is S tier, one of the best for the right side. And I'm about to show you guys why it's not all bad pulling Kai. He's also good for Immortal Codex. I have not tried him for Immortal Codex. That's the Pelagios boss. I might try him after this, after we do the Gear Raid 3 Stage 21 um, to, to see what we can do with him. But I, I, I don't know. I, I haven't really tried him for that. I tried him one time. It didn't work. And I just let it go, right? I was like, you know what? I, I got better heroes, but uh, let, let's try him out. We'll, we'll see how he works, but I am going to put him on full display in Gear Raid 3, mainly because I want to show you guys how good this guy is. And you can use him for a bunch of different things, a bunch of different things. There's multiple ways to use this guy. Um, so let's go over to my guy, Kai. Um, I'll show you how I have him built after this. Where is he at? Right there. Okay. So I'll show you guys how I have him built after this, but I did want to go over his kit. Uh, so keep in mind his ultimate, I would be doing a lot more damage. It's only at level one out of five. We need it to be at level four, mainly because when you get it to level two, cluster projectile damage plus 150%, that is crucial. If I had it at level two, he would do a lot more damage and I wouldn't need my Edril to pick up the slack. Um, and then if I had it at level four, that is also awesome as well. Uh, but I don't have that, you know, I didn't get lucky with this. And honestly, I'm not going to waste my legendary skill crystals on a guy when I already defeated gear raid three stage 21, but he did help me. So I'm going to show you guys different ways to use him. Um, but let, let's go over his talent first. Every 15 seconds, the next basic attack is changed into placing one worm snare on a random tile in range. So keep in mind, these worm snares is basically what makes his kit lit. For gear rate three you know everything else you don't really need these worm snares you know what i'm saying so it's like it's like yeah he's god tier for gear rate three but outside that it's like meh meh you know it's it is what it is guys um so a worm snare is basically a trap that he lays on the ground dealing 100 damage to up to three nearby enemies while inflicting immobilize on them for three seconds when triggered in advance by a cluster projectile deals 150 aoe damage to up to five enemies in a larger range and inflicts immobilize on them for five seconds instead worm snare is immediately consumed upon activation so just keep in mind these worm snares is basically what his kit's all about he's trapping them he's doing damage that's basically what we want to do and then also right here uh the rest of the talent the snare lasts at most 30 seconds dealing 25 percent extra damage to enemies inflicted with the immobilized state so a little bit more damage when they're immobilized you know that, that's also nice nice to have in the kit especially because that's what he's all about he's all about immobilizing the enemy let's go okay so we go down to his ultimate this basically just does damage it's just damage on top of damage guys uh launches a cluster projectile at one enemy in range causing an explosive impact upon contact the explosion deals 350 percent aoe damage to up to eight nearby enemies and splits the projectile into three small bombs okay so again it's basically just a bunch of damage right after a short delay those small bombs detonate each dealing 100% AOE damage to up to five nearby enemies. The cluster projectile can trigger every worm snare within the blast radius in advance. It's basically damage. It's That's basically what it's all about, the damage, right? It just does a bunch of AOE damage. Um, and it actually claps pretty hard for the way I have him built. I would be able to handle the right side if I had this to at least level two. Uh, level two would, would basically put me over the top and then level four would just be even better, right? Um, but I don't have that, right? I, I didn't get lucky, guys. I did not get lucky when it came to uh, when it came to upgrading his skills, unfortunately. So even his basic attack, it is AoE. We like that, AoE. This guy's AoE, and he's all about trapping and, you know, CC's in the kit. We come over here, Doomsday Reprise. This is actually pretty nice. And for those of you guys not doing enough damage, you might have to just keep restarting the dungeon to get this to proc. So basically, Doomsday Cluster has a 23% chance of an immediate second cast being ready after each cast. So basically, he pops Doomsday Cluster. Guess what? Bam! He has a 23% chance to have Doomsday Cluster a second time. And then, you know, again, 
if for some reason you're not doing enough damage and you have to have this proc twice you might have to do the redo the stage multiple times but the fact of the matter is if you could get this bad boy to proc it's going to be a very good day because then you could just pop it a second time and life will be good this effect can be triggered up to one time every 20 seconds so you know this is a pretty cool passive to have unfortunately Again, this guy's basically a gear raid three type of guy, right? Uh, I mean, um, excuse me. There's also a mortal codex, but uh, I I didn't get him to work, but we will try him out in a mortal codex uh, right after. So, okay. He also has this passive upon triggering worm snare. Worm snare again is the little projectile he lays on the ground to trap the enemy and do damage. Increases crit rate by twenty percent and crit damage by sixty percent for seven seconds. That's pretty cool too, giving him a little bit more damage, a little bit more booty clapping. We like it. This effect cannot be stacked when there are multiple worm snares. That kind of sucks, but it's also, I mean, shoot, you have like two worm snares out there and then, you know, it stacks up twice. That's 120% extra crit damage, which is a little overkill. So it's understandable. Now let's go into his awakening tree. I'll do this quick and slick. I do have them to A1. Each cluster projectile launched by Doomsday Cluster inflicts burning upon explosion. So adds a little burning into the kit. That is nice. Decreases the interval of placing Worm Snare by five seconds, and it will inflict defense reduction. Defense minus 20% when triggered. That is actually an awesome A3. This is my first time reading his Awakening Tree. Uh, if you guys have him to A3, uh, I mean, I don't know whether to say, oh, that's a great thing or if, that, you know, who wants to pull four Kai's, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, this is an awesome A3. Uh, just reading this, see, if, if it didn't have this defense reduction, it wouldn't be as good, of course. But the defense reduction is actually really nice and it's minus 20%, which is pretty solid. So then we go down to A5. Each cluster projectile launched by Doomsday Cluster splits into three extra small bombs after explosion more damage i mean that that's pretty nice but i i think i i think i fucks with the uh with the a3 a little more i, I really like this defense reduction um but a5 is pretty pretty litty as well <clears throat> so that's his awakening tree now let's go into how i have him built there's a bunch of different ways to build this guy guys there's there's not one direct way right so i actually went with the fracture set um, and Fracture basically increases crit damage by 45% when HP is above 70%. The goal is to keep him above 70% throughout the whole fight. So this is actually a really nice uh, gear to have. And it's been working out beautifully for me. Um, another set, I mean, again, you, you could go with a bunch of different sets. Infernal Roar would be solid for him. Um, I, I would probably skip out on Soulbound Arcana. I don't know how many times you're actually going to pop his ultimate uh th this one would be solid ageless wrath ageless wrath would be another solid one for him night terror would be a solid one i mean shoot if you if you want him to keep getting his ultimate back faster you could even go with the rage set what's it called the mana spring um probably not the most ideal set but again there's a bunch of different ways that you could build this guy uh but i actually really like the the fracture set for him so um okay i have his attack of course you want his attack to be as high as possible um as attacks a little low, a little low, but it's been working out beautifully for me. And in a perfect world, I definitely would want the attack to be maybe at like plus 10,000. That would probably be solid for my guy right here. Um, attack speed's actually solid. Plus 307, I fucks with it. That's actually really nice. A crit rate, of course, we want it at 100%. But at the same time, uh, since he does have that passive that bumps his crit rate uh, 20%, we're almost at 100 when he does do that. So you know it's not bad it's not bad where i have it right now and then his crit damage um of course you'd want that will be a little bit higher but i have it at plus 167.5 percent and that's basically all i mean you could add a little rage region on oh my guy you know if you want to get that ultimate back faster but honestly the main thing that we're wanting is this this passive uh you know him laying to or excuse me the talent every 15 seconds him laying down the worm snare so again you might not even care about the build. You might not even have to build them out if you're just wanting to trap them so then you could have an opportunity to kill them before they get to the portal. There's also that strategy as well. Then you don't really have to worry about his stats. Uh, but uh, let me just show you guys how I have it built. So bam, I got that set. Attack bonus for the primary. Crit damage for the primary. Um, mm, I absolutely love this one. I wish the last one wasn't defense, but I guess gives them a little bit more survivability, which isn't half bad. Um, this one's a nice one too. Crit damage attack crit rate attack speed attack i mean that's a beautiful set uh and then we come over here um 
I, I made sure to get a little bit more attack speed on him. I wanted to, him to be attacking a little bit more uh, than right here. We got a little crit rate attack bonus. I mean, not the best two piece set, but uh, at least with the warlord, you're getting attack uh, plus 25%. Then you're also getting attack speed plus 30%. Uh, then the artifact I went with him, honestly, you can't go wrong with any of the artifacts. You can do you can do about anything, honestly. But uh, this one, I figured, gives him a little bit more max HP, but also increases his damage by 11%. So I just went ahead and went with this. You could go with Soul Siphon. I'm not going to take it off my Silas, though. I would never do that. Soul Siphon will always be on my Silas unless I get another one after I fully max this one out. Um, Reaper's Emblem, you could go with that as well. The only thing is, the only thing is he's not going to be killing a lot of targets. Um, I mean, you could even go with Sharpshooter. Uh, Sharpshooter might be a solid one for him because when they're coming in, uh, they're going to be clustered together and you're going to need him to take them out. You put Sharpshooter on him, uh, it boosts the AoE damage and you could probably take them out. If, especially if he has his ultimate upgraded, um, Sharpshooter would definitely be a very solid one, but it depends on what you're trying to do with him. Uh, but right now I have the Ichor Chalice, right? So... Uh, just wanted to show you guys that, but I don't, me personally, I don't think that the artifact is that important unless you guys are using him strictly to kill uh, the the four guys coming on the right side. If you want the, if you want him to kill them and you're not doing enough damage, then definitely go with Sharpshooter. Uh, okay, so we come right over here. We got Gear Raid 3. I'm going to show you Stage 19. I can actually beat Stage 19 pretty easily right now, but I just wanted to give you guys an example on what I used to do but back when I first beat this stage because I actually could not beat this stage without my Gaikai, all right? But just keep in mind, um, of course, my damage is not as good, uh, or ex of course, my damage is going to be a lot better than it was back then, so I'm going to be basically wiping everything out, but I'm just showing you guys just envision it right envision what he can do so i was using hatsu at that time but we'll put brianna in here um it, it doesn't really matter um i was using hatsu at that time when i was doing stage 19 or no hang on i was not using hatsu sorry okay let me let me keep this in i think i think i remember how i did this all right guys so this is a pretty simple strategy keep in mind my damage is going to be pretty uh pretty insane because i'm way past stage 19 you know damage wise anyway all right let's change it to two time all right, so we let Silas and Idril take care of the front. And then what would I what I would do is let's change that back to two time is I would just have Idril take care of the first one that came out because we don't have enough energy to lay everyone down right now. So we would need her to to clap this guy. So she claps him. Of course, it would take me a lot longer. Yes, I know. Uh, but that's basically what I would do. And then I would lay down my hollow right here. Um, also, what I would do here. Hang on, actually. So I would lay down my Brienne on this side and I would have her take care of the left side. Um, then let's see. Let me go ahead and pop that. And then what I would do is I would actually lay down my Aracha right here. Um, so now we got to worry about the right side, right? So basically what I would do is I would lay down my Maul, right? It's important to lay down Maul in the front. Okay, if you are going to do this strategy, you want to lay Maul down in the front because he will not be able to reach. We need him to reach. And since Arkai is enjoying the Lord skill, hang on. So I would also pop this. I'd take care of this guy over here right quick. Let me pop that, take care of those guys. Um, I didn't want to kill the boss that fast, but I'm just showing you because where everyone struggles is these guys coming out, right? Um, so what I would do is I would lay down my Kai He's enjoying the Lord skill. It's important to have Kai at this, at this position right here. If you put him in Maul's position, he's going to be laying worm snares all over that platform. We only want him laying worm snares. Look, look at that range right there and right there, right below the portal or right in front of the portal. That's where we want him laying them. Um, okay, I should not have popped her ultimate. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry guys. But basically what I would do is they get trapped, right? I pop both their ultimates, boom, boom right it's a it's a simple strategy it works this is how i defeated stage 19 way back in the day um it was mainly because of my guy kai right here so let's let's go ahead i'll go ahead and pop this i'll just show you guys what i mean when it comes out i wish i could just fast forward this part and then even this guy like this guy comes up what i'll do is boom so normally i would have popped the ultimate right um, and then also keep in mind, if for some reason you are not doing enough damage, right? 
Uh, you could lay down, like, I don't have them in my lineup right now, but you could lay down someone right here when they get down here, and it just, it's just a split second where, where the mob will turn around to kill that guy, and it just gives you a little bit more time to, to do some damage, right? Uh, with your Eadrill, with your Kai, whoever the case might be, but this is why he's so good. He traps them, right? Boom, they get trapped, and then I pop this, bam! It's just insane amount of damage, and then I would also pop Maul's ultimate as well. Um, but that's basically the, the simple strategy to that. If you guys do not have Hatsu, Alora, and even if you do have like a Hatsu, I wasn't doing enough damage with my Hatsu. So I would have Kaya's backup, you know, Kai would, Kai would back up my Hatsu and let Hatsu do a little bit more damage or just clean up house when they got down to the bottom. So again, multiple ways you can use Kai, but it's always for the right side. Now we have stage 21. All right, guys, pretty simple strategy. We're going to start with Idril. We're going to lay down Dolores. This is basically the Silas cheese strat, okay? Uh, I was going to come up with a whole new strategy, but I was like, you know what? I'm feeling a little lazy tonight, all right? So I, I've just basically swapped out my hot soup for Kai, and I'm going to show you guys what it's all about. So let's go ahead and wait for it. We're going to lay down Silas. Um, again, Silas booty clap strat. Let's go. The main goal to this is to kill the boss as fast as possible. That's one of the first things you should be focusing on. Um, okay, pop that, pop that. Now we wait, we wait. Change the two time, let them do their thing. We're going to save Silas's ultimate. Um, we're going to lay down Hollow. Okay, boss is out. Now we're going to go ahead and pop Silas's ultimate. Now we have to wait. Okay, let's go ahead and pop Hollow's ultimate. Um, what we're waiting for is, let me change this back to one time. Um, okay, hang on. You gotta wait for her. Okay, I, I missed it, but she attacks Hollow. Once she attacks Hollow, you can lay down your Maul and your Auto, mainly because she will kill them if you don't, if you're using my strategy anyway. Um, then we're going to lay down Olog right after this, but hang on. Give me a second. Let me, let me focus. Let me focus. Um, okay, so now we're gonna lay down Olog. He's basically just going to uh, take the damage from these little flying dudes coming in, you know, keep them alive, quick and slick. We're actually going to hold the ultimate right quick. Um, let me go ahead and pop Silas's ultimate, and then I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pop Dolores and Idril, and then I'm gonna pop his ultimate, I'm gonna pop her ultimate, and then let's see, okay. So he kills, or she kills him over here. Um, then I'm gonna lay down Kai. So we lay down Kai, okay. Then basically, Idril's just gonna help over here. Boom, she's helping, she's helping. We're gonna go ahead and pop this ultimate. Um, but then we're just gonna wait. Okay, give it a set. Let me change it up to two time. Let them do their thing right here. Let me go ahead and pop, pop Dolores' ultimate. Um, let her do a little bit more damage as they're coming down. Uh, we're going to go ahead and withdraw Olog, actually. Um, and then what I'm going to do is... Okay, he laid down his Worm Snare. Then... Bam! We're going to pop that. Then what we're going to do is... We're going to lay down Brienne. They're going to kill Brienne, but they had to turn around. Gives a little bit more time for them to do... do excuse me. To do damage. Uh, but... That basically... That's the strategy to this, you know? You, you don't have to have a good right side if you have my boy Kai. Kai can help you all the way. Um, we're going to go ahead and pop Hollow's ultimate right quick. Let them get their ultimates back sooner. Um, okay, and then pop this, pop this. Change it back to two time. And bam, bam. Um, okay, Idril might kill them before they come across, but uh, basically we'll have Brienne again. Well, it gives them an extra second. They have to turn around and attack her, then they start moving again. Um, I'm basically just using her as bait. Oh, okay. Um, here, hang on. So he traps them. Let me go ahead and pop that. Come on, get there, get there. Pop that, pop that. Boom. Oh, shoot. I wasn't paying attention to the right side or left side, excuse me, but you, you guys get the strat, right? You guys get the basic strategy. Then we lay down Brienne, and then he goes ahead and kills them. Keep in mind, if you have the uh, 
excuse me sorry i wasn't paying attention to the left side my mole would have killed them um i've done this plenty of times and maul kills them i just didn't pop the ultimates again so i do apologize for that but at the same time um just showing you the simple strategy on how to do it so that's basically how we do it for stage 21 um and again if your hop suit's not doing enough damage like mine wasn't you can use kai same way and then you lay down hot suit on the right side face her outward she does damage and then kai cleans up house and again if you have his his uh ultimate uh skilled up to uh, level four even level two level two would help out a lot and you have a decent build on him he might be able to take him out himself but that is how we do it guys so hey for those of you that are like oh man i pulled kai don't feel too much like that if you're struggling on gear raid 3 because he can definitely help you now let's try immortal codex i don't know if this is going to work i'm actually going to keep the same build let's give it a chance let's let's try it out let's see how this works funny i'm looking over i see myself so small right now <laughs> oh i made myself real tiny all right that's okay though that's okay we'll we'll, we'll settle for a small dr d's out there all right so we got the pelagios fast um and if you look in here okay you look into recommended popular heroes right uh you got kai right here so kai's not the most popular but he cracks the top 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 he cracks the top 12 let me rephrase that um let me see how this will work first let me auto fight this because i completely forget how i did this let me just do this real fast I'm, I'm just doing this for my memory um if you guys are like me i just literally come in here auto fight it then done right uh because the main goal of this is to kill these little things right over here uh the the tridents that he has over there um okay so i lay them down they're doing damage they're doing damage i don't know if kai's good for just the front or if he's hmm Okay, let me huh i'm a little confused like what maybe the the mobs coming out um i don't i don't know I, I sorry guys i did not watch a video on this so i don't know how people use him uh you know i just i just what i normally do is i just test them out you know test them out see what works see what doesn't and then i roll with it right uh, I try not to look off of other people's videos just because I want to come up with my own strategy, which makes it a little harder on your boy, Dr. D's. But sometimes I have to resort to uh, watching a video because I can't figure it out, right? Uh, so let's see. Um, okay, let me put my guy Kai in here. But who should I take out? Hmm. Maybe Hatsu? Let's just try this. Let's just try this um okay so he's coming out let me go ahead and lay these out it might not even work you know i might be wasting my time right here but let's see okay change oh no 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 okay do that do that um you know what i'll put kai at the bottom right here maybe that's but then i'll put my boy maul over here i'll put her over here and then i'll change it two times Ooh, I do have the fracture set on him. I'm gonna need his health to be up, but luckily he's right next to Dolores. Okay. So just to let you guys know, I got S tier before this. So let's see what I could get. Okay, give me a sec. I'm gonna let them finish all that. I'm not gonna pop the ultimates until after. Okay, change it to one time. Let me just see this. Um I mean, okay, I don't even think I need to pop these. I think, oh, I'll pop this. Bam! Actually, shoot, I should have been popping Maul's ultimate. Gosh dang it, I should have been popping his ultimate. He's on, he's in the Soulbound Arcana, so it's very important to pop his ultimate as many times as possible. I messed up on that. It's okay, though. It's okay. We're, we're just testing water right now. Testing it out, seeing what we can do. Um... Okay, I'm gonna wait for the tridents to come back out. I'll pop it again. Bam! Oh, Maul's just such a beast for this. He is such a beast. A man among boys, guys. All right, let's see. Okay, boom. Okay, now I'm gonna pop these. I'm gonna go ahead and pop Maul's ultimate too. Okay. 
Ooh, Kai gets his ultimate back rather quickly. Up all those. Okay, let me pop her ultimate. Oh shoot, I should have saved her ultimate. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I messed that up. Well, I'm already at a... I don't know how much longer I'm going to last though. Um, I'm curious to see what, uh, what my guy Kai did. Honestly, I should have held his ultimate right there. Gosh dang it. Okay, it's a go. Let me see what we can... Boom, boom. Hmm. Hot Maul's ultimate again. Oh, maybe I should have used Yovar. Shoot, I forgot to have Yovar. Okay, let me let me try Yovar, but let's see how much damage he did. Um okay, let's see this right quick. I mean, I don't imagine him actually CCing people, but 18.5 is respectable. It's respectable. It's not bad. Uh, he did have Dolores' ultimate, though, so is it respectable? No, no, no. But all right. Let me, since we can actually use Yovar, I didn't even think of that. Yovar is going to be lit for this. Now I can have another booty clapper in the lineup. Let's go. Okay. Um, Challenge. Let me take Aracha out. Okay. We're going to use Yovar. Yovar is going to be awesome for this, or Iovar, Yovar, however you want to pronounce it. I hear people saying both ways, you know? Okay. Let's test this out. Round two. Okay. So we're going to lay down. Mm, yeah. Silas. Do Dolores. Uh. You know what? I'm gonna put yeah, I'm gonna put my boy down here. Let me I'm gonna put her right there. I'm gonna put Kai right here actually. I think Maul can handle this side by himself. Let's go ahead and change to two time. Alright, round two. Let's go. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. Um, I have Yovar in a uh In a soul bond arcana set too so i'm gonna pop that as many times as possible look at all those swords he's gaining i love it i love it let's get the damage up a little bit let's pop that ultimate again okay okay Okay, okay. We're looking good, looking good. Looking good, baby. All right, let's see. Okay, now let me go ahead and pop all these. Pop that. Um, I'll pop that, I'll pop that. Oh, I got it a second time. Let's go. Okay, so we're cleaning house on this side. I think I popped his ultimate enough already. Okay, Annihilating Surge. Pop that. I'm gonna pop this, pop this, pop this. Okay, and let's see. Oh, uh, let me pop Yovar's ultimate again. Pop his ultimate. No, you gotta get it, Maul. You gotta get it. Ah, damn it. I didn't get it. Okay, pop that, pop that, pop that, pop that, pop that. Pop it again. Boom. We want to kill these guys as soon as possible. Pop it again. Oh, man. All right. Okay, come on. Come on. My mom's about to, my guys are about to die, guys. Well, I got S tier, but Yovar is definitely helping with that. Um, but Kai's decent for this. He's decent for this. And I'm probably not even using him correctly. 
<laughs> you know, I'm just gonna pop these ultimates. I'm gonna just pop them. I'm gonna just pop them, trying to get as many damage as I can. Pop it! Oh my god! All right, let's see. Come on, come on. Oh, it doesn't matter. They're blocking. I'm not gonna be able to do any more damage. Well, barely any damage. Um, he's gonna do his annihilating surge, and that's all she wrote. Okay, so. Kai's decent for this too, you know? If you, if you don't have the right heroes, Kai can be good for this boss right here. I mean, it's respectable. This time he didn't have Dolores. Let's see how much damage he did. Twenty million, respectable. You know, he, he's handling the sides. The reason why Yovar and Silas are leading is because they have Dolores, right? Uh, but he's kind of keeping up with Maul, kind of keeping up with Nyx. I mean, 31 million, that's a little bit off. But at the same time, Nyx is kind of stealing his shine by taking some of the some of the damage, right? But you know, Kai's not all bad, guys. He's not all bad, and I hope this helps somebody out there. But that's all I got for tonight's video. Just wanted to go over that. You guys have a great rest of your night and thank you for making it to the end.